Sunshine Garden is a recreational and therapeutic gardening program which Future has run in partnership with CAMH, the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health, for over 15 years now. We take in clients with mental health and addiction issues and they all come and volunteer their time and learn how to garden. I'm Liz Kirk and I'm the Senior Coordinator of Future's Sunshine Garden at the Centre for Addiction and Mental Health. So clients work in the garden, weeding, uh, putting out the seedlings, uh, doing all the general gardening jobs, and then we harvest the bountiful produce and prepare it for harvest and sell it at our market. Gardening can be therapeutic in so many ways. Just look around. This is a peaceful, tranquil oasis. It's a hidden gem. And just being in the garden, you leave your troubles and cares outside and you enter a world of peace and tranquility. You're also focused on the tasks at hand, whether you're digging or weeding, and so your mind stops ruminating, and you're not mulling over problems, but you're just focusing on the task at hand, and that can be remarkably soothing and conducive to good health and wellness. One of the issues that it addresses is dealing with food insecurity. Clients uh, with mental health and addiction issues are often live in poverty because they are unfortunately just existing on Ontario disability support and that does not allow them after paying rent to purchase healthy nutritious food. By growing the food in the garden they have access to a wide range of fruits and vegetables which they would not be able otherwise to afford. So one of the major impacts of the Sunshine Garden is providing uh, opportunities for training. Uh, when clients uh, have had a debilitating illness and have been out of the workforce for some time, many of them lose confidence and also have gaps uh, in their resume. This gives them an opportunity now to volunteer their services in the garden and to start putting together a more meaningful resume. Aside from selling all our wonderful organic veggies and fruit and other products, it's also an opportunity for the clients to really go outside, connect with the wider community, to showcase their talents, tell the stories of how they grew the vegetables from seed, how they nurtured the veggies and fruit, and then to maybe share recipes and to interact in a very positive way with the community. And in this way, this helps to break down stigma. If this garden didn't exist, it would be a real tragedy. So many lives would be affected. People who come here because they are interacting with friends, they love to get their hands in the soil. It's part of their recovery program and resilience. It's helped people maintain their sobriety. If it didn't exist, these would all be lost.